Putting your work, ideas, or small business online can feel a little unnerving, especially when you start comparing all the hosting options out there. It's easy to get overwhelmed by technical jargon and pricing tiers. That's why a lot of people, especially beginners, start by looking for free or very low-cost hosting services. It feels like a no-risk way to learn how websites work, plus you don't have to reach for your wallet right away. Of course, ultra-cheap or free web hosting can come with drawbacks, like limited features or slower performance. Still, for a small hobby site or a simple test project, those trade-offs might be worth it. So in this video, we're going to explore two well-known names in the hosting world, Hostinger and Bluehost. Hostinger stands out for its extremely competitive prices, while Bluehost is famous for its close partnership with WordPress and promotional deals that bring down the cost to something close to free. But comparing the two, we'll see whether a truly free or an almost free service is a good fit for different websites. And speaking of discounts, you guys can use ours by heading over to the links in the description. You can use code SITESTARTERS for a Hostinger at checkout for 10% off. So take a look at those if you are interested. All right, so Hostinger has built a solid reputation for offering plans that fit comfortably into most budgets. Even its entry-level tiers are designed to provide enough performance for a personal blog, small business site, or portfolio. Unlike many providers that only promise cheap introductory rates, Hostinger typically keeps its prices low even after the initial period. These plans often include features like ample storage, a free SSL certificate, and an intuitive control panel called HPanel, which makes it easier to install apps such as WordPress, manage databases, and set up email accounts without advanced technical know-how. One of Hostinger's biggest selling points is how smoothly you can upgrade your plan if your website needs to grow. If you launch a site and later realize you need more bandwidth or extra security features, you can transition to a higher tier plan without uprooting your entire setup. Hostinger also provides 24-7 customer support for its paid tiers, so help is generally close at hand if you ever experience any problems. Performance is another focus, with Hostinger working to keep load times quick and downtime minimal, an increasingly important concern as people become less patient with slow websites. While Hostinger may not be completely free, its low-cost packages can feel near free for what you get, a stable, supportive, hosting environment with room to grow. Bluehost is another big name in the hosting space, especially if you plan to build a WordPress site. In fact, WordPress itself includes Bluehost in its list of recommended hosts, which speaks to Bluehost's user-friendliness and solid track record. Although you won't find a permanent free plan here, Bluehost frequently runs promotions that can drive the price down to a level that feels nearly free, sometimes including a free domain for your first year or deeply discounted monthly rates that are light on your wallet. The overall experience with Bluehost from day one is often what sets it apart. Even basic plans typically come with features like live chat and phone support, which can be a lifesaver if you're hosting a site for the first time. The servers handle traffic spikes capably, which is very helpful if a blog post unexpectedly goes viral or your store suddenly sees a jump in customers. Another plus is how straightforward Bluehost's WordPress installation process can be, giving you a quick path to choosing themes and creating content. Although it isn't a $0 option, Bluehost's blend of affordability, reliability, and WordPress focus can be a smart choice if you have a small budget to invest in your website. Now, comparing Hostinger to Bluehost in the context of best free or nearly free web hosting brings a few important factors into play. Cost is one of the most obvious ones, and Hostinger generally takes the lead for having some of the lowest rates in the industry. The presence of ample storage, an SSL certificate, and a simplified control panel can make Hostinger's lower tiers seem particularly appealing if you're on a budget. Bluehost, on the other hand, stands out for its seamless integration with WordPress, making it a great choice if you're planning to build a WordPress site. You can quickly launch your site and focus on customizing it to your vision, and this ease of use, combined with reliable performance, makes it a favorite among WordPress users. Performance and reliability also come into focus. Hostinger's data centers are optimized to deliver speed on a budget, while Bluehost's track record with WordPress sites means it can handle high traffic sites impressively well. Both strive for solid uptime, which makes sure that your site remains accessible to people as much as possible. In terms of features, Hostinger's HPanel is designed to be both beginner-friendly and robust enough for more advanced needs, while Bluehost's straightforward dashboard and tight WordPress integration make setup really easy even for newcomers. As far as support goes, Hostinger provides 24-7 live chat, while Bluehost's help is available via live chat and phone, 
both aiming to help you with any problems that you might encounter. Whether Hostinger or Bluehost is the better match depends on what your site needs the most. If you're determined to minimize costs without sacrificing too much in terms of features or performance, Hostinger stands out. If WordPress is your main focus and you like the idea of quick installs and a free domain during your first year, Bluehost offers a really good deal. It's also worth taking a moment to consider both security and scalability for your website. Even if you're operating on a tight budget, you'll want a host that provides basic basic safeguards like malware scanning, firewalls, and routine backups. For small sites, both Hostinger and Bluehost often include these layers of protection out of the box, making sure that your data remains safe from common threats. Both hosts also offer free SSL certificates, which helps encrypt visitor data and keeps your site looking trustworthy to browsers and search engines. Regardless of where you're starting from, both sites allow you to scale up when you need, and that's one of the most important things that I've experienced as someone who spent a lot of time with hosting sites and running them myself. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section down below. Also, consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed what you saw here. And, of course, don't forget about those links in the description and the site starters coupon code for Hostinger. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, make sure to take care.